Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. The real deal. The Memphis Strangler. The Vanilla Gorilla. Let's keep it going for Hans Kim having sex with not only a girl, but also a guy. Okay, so you're in fingering position. Your friend walks in. He says, do I have permission? Do I have permission? Do you say yes twice? <laughs> I just like, hey, you want to suck him off? And then she starts doing that. And then I'm still fingering her. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're in. And, yeah. Then, and then she's like, let's do the spit roast. Okay. Holy shit. Jeremy Renner is in critical, critical condition after the snowplow he was using ran over his leg. Wait, I thought that guy was like a superhero or something. I thought that guy was like a hawk or something. I hope everybody had a good New Year's. I've actually had a pretty bad week. I just found out I'm not going to be playing Gary Glitter in his new Family Channel bio. He's like a convicted sex person in, the, in England at some point. Okay, let's... <laughs> Mississippi just executed a convicted murderer and rapist. His last meal was fried pork chops, sweet potatoes covered in butter, and peach cobbler with vanilla ice cream. Uh, can you even imagine the cholesterol in all that? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it's like nobody ever taught him to eat clean. I mean, what's going... At least he's going to be full when he enters the gates of hell. I'm sure Barbara Walters and Pope Benedict XVI will be right there to greet him. Um, <laughs> okay, that's my time, I think. Boom! A minute and a half of brand new material from the man who has done it the most. Dude, there's something with that last one. That's, Do you think that, so? that's fucking good. There's something there. That's good. There's something to that. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I was. I recently got this volcano vaporizer. I think I brought that up. But man, I do that thing to 200 degrees Celsius, and I get high as shit. And then, luckily, wrote that earlier. I was having panic attacks. I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to have a minute ready. That happens a decent amount. But luckily, hit the bag, drank some coffee, and. I was like, who died recently? I was like, holy shit, Barbara Walters, the Pope? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and you open... No, seriously, perfect. I can't stand the fucking papal system. Papal system. Papal system. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, luckily came up with that stuff. I started Ghost of Tsushima again. I'm planning on playing that game again, so we'll see how that goes. I was actually trapped in the airport for a couple days. I was flying southwest back to Memphis. I literally lived at the airport like that Tom Hanks movie. I literally, <laughs> I swear to God, I was living in the Dallas airport. Sir, why are your fucking arms crossed like that and you're looking at me weird? Are you not believing me right now, you piece of shit? Dang. Can you even imagine how excited I was when I found out the fucking poop died? <laughs> <laughs> the big red machine. He's probably fucking is... Catholic. He looks like a fucking Catholic, dude. Piece of shit. So, trying to have fucking fun tonight, dude. I've been on edge all fucking day. So, William, what uh. did you do to kill time at this airport? It sounds... You seem like a different person since you were stranded at the airport. I see you every week. <laughs> yeah, I drank a bunch of Jamba Juice. I was playing my uh, Bloons Tower Defense 6 game on my phone. I read The Catcher in the Rye three times. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Oh. Holden Caulfield, it's a perfect Christmas book. It's a perfect Christmas book. Wow. Yeah, he's going back home for Christmas, but he's also, he got out. Yeah, I literally read it three fucking times. It took me the entire time at the airport. I was there for 48 hours. I read it three times. I was having Incredible. a nervous break. Incredible. 
Uh, <laughs> and you, you opened your set tonight talking about Hans's threesome, which, as we know, was with another man. <laughs> what do you think about what the young Hans Kim did this past weekend? What are your thoughts on having a threesome with another man involved? I think it's pretty cool. I mean, he was saying he tasted the guy's dick when he was... <laughs> When they were kissing, yeah, he got into very graphic details told, up in the green room. He told you that in the green room. So he's giving a, what else did he say? Give us some more uh, of what Hans didn't want to reveal on stage. Well, they were at the very beginning, they were doing rock, paper, scissors to see who's going to pound out that pussy first. Uh... Hans I've, lost, I've, best out of three. Hans lost, so the guy put his penis in her first, and then Hans was, yeah, watching, and then they shook hands when they traded off. And wow. Hans got up in that fucking nasty pussy. That's what he was calling it. It was this nasty thing that he was getting up in. And, but yeah, it sounded like they were having fun. I mean, I think I would like that camaraderie with somebody. I think I'd like to share that kind of camaraderie with somebody else. Interesting. And if you could, uh, because you... You have a girlfriend. If you could pick one person to uh, bring into the bedroom uh, and have sex with your you and your girlfriend, what's a guy that? Uh, what type of guy would you be into, William? Weirdly enough, I think I'd bring Red Band. Oh wow! Oh my goodness! I could see how that would work. I'm just kidding, you just fat kidding. piece of oh, shit! You son of a bitch! Holy shit, you dumbass! Come on! I think it's a good idea. You're that idea. fucking stupid, Come dude! Come on, man. I cannot... Piece of shit. I think it's a good move having Red I'm Band kidding. in on the threesome. This way, if you're going to come too fast, you could just look over at him and... Uh... <laughs> well, Tony, we're pretty much doing that now. Red Band honestly got an Oculus VR thing. I think we're about to honestly start double teaming in the in the metaverse. Oh. He literally got it for me. I charged it up last night. Oh, wow. So you're going to do some VR. Yeah, and I got dizzy as shit immediately. Red Band, how do you do that 10 hours every night? I swear to God, I was immediately dizzy in that fucking thing. I don't know how you do it. Just take it slow, man. Take it slow. Okay. Like okay. I will with her, <laughs> your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Red Band is threatening to have sex with your girlfriend. You brought him into the threesome, and now you got to take him out yeah, I mean, you're kicked out of here, man. You have to fucking leave my apartment right now. I can't believe you actually showed up. Can I just do a little, like, just rub it on the outside, just a little? Rub what on the outside? <laughs> oh, God. Rub what on oh the my outside? God. What I, are you, I, outside of what? What are you talking I almost about? threw up a little bit just then. That is so disgusting. <clears throat> William, let's paint the picture here. Let's say, after all this, you come home late one night, one of your sets here, right? Yep. You do almost every night. You get, you put the key in the door, you open the door, and there's Red Band with your girl bent over, just going to town. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's just say you walk yeah, in, and Red Band's just going to town, going there, slow pumping. Just, yeah, slow pumping. That's how he thinks sex looks. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> grabs her by the shoulders and just keeps chest bumping her. What do you do? I see. What do you do? Is there a weapon? Is there something you say? I think initially I'd be horrified that the lava lamp was on. I just picture Red Band, he would have the lava lamp on. I think I'd be horrified that he would do to me like that, that he would turn the lava lamp on, and then I would... You love your lava lamp very much, don't you? Yeah. Yep. It's one of your favorite yeah. things, isn't it? Yeah. What's your favorite part about having a lava lamp? I can just tell the bubbles start expanding. They get to the top. I mean, I swear to God, it is the most exciting fucking thing I've ever personally witnessed. Just how the fuck they just start like hot lava. I like okay. sitting on them. <laughs> sitting on them was my <laughs> answer. And I have a new tier, $30 a month on my OnlyFans. You can see me sit on a lava lamp. If you're sick of the Coke bottles and you have more than $15 a month to spend, I highly recommend. We're going lava lamp. Uh, William, anything else happened uh, since the last time we saw you? You were literally stranded at the airport during the taping of last week's episode, so... 
Uh, just had I had a very nice Christmas back home with my family in Memphis. It was very pleasant. We love the Montgomerys. A lot of people said guest of the year, 2022. The Mon- the parents. They were William fun. Montgomery. I was a little scared. I was nervous, but it worked out. It was seemed fun. I, I noticed something. Every time you hang out with your parents, they always make you cut your hair. But this time, you have a full beard and a full hair. Yeah, they let you. Yeah, no shit. I am not <laughs> fucking. I swear to God, I am done with Larry and Francis telling me to fucking shit. Shave my beard, shave my hair. When I go back to Memphis, I swear to God, I'm sick of it. It's been, I'm 35, about to be 36. It's the last fucking year that I did it. It was last year, the last year. I'm not listening to their shit anymore. It's. But every time I'm they done. tell you to do it, you just say yes. Let's practice right now. Uh, so let's say you walk in and I'm Mr. Montgomery, right? And I yeah. go, William. We got to get you to shave that beard. Papa. <laughs> Papa, stop. <laughs> Papa. No, William, you got to do it. It's scruffy. It's not professional. I know that Tony and Red Band say that it's funny and that it makes you have a perfect comedy head, and that's the business that you're in. But I'm, I think you should shave it. I'm 35 fucking years old. I'm not living under y'all's fucking roof anymore. I'm out of here. I'm officially moving out next week. I'm moving out of y'all's fucking house. I'm sick of this shit. You're not going to make me stay at this house. I'm 35 fucking years old. I swear to God, I'm going to walk down the driveway and you're never going to fucking see me again. No, you're staying here. I'm not staying here. Yeah, you're going to stay here. I'm sick of living under y'all's roof. You're gonna I'm s- leaving! <laughs> you can't make me stay here, Mom and Dad! I'm a hockey player now! <laughs> you know I've been skating! <laughs> the big, the red, <laughs> William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is. Man, you know that bitch in a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Keep telling us what 60 Days Away is. It's when it will be closing. <laughs> <laughs> 60 Days and the liquidation will be happening. Yeah, so I just do shit in a no bullshit way. Like, I put, like, cuss words in the product of the letter. It's fine. It's fine. You put cuss words in a what? In the, my product. Oh. Like a journal, like card deck. You know, You're gonna get like, skinny, you stupid bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> I just watched the new Whitney Houston movie, and all I can say about it is I wanna talk with somebody. <laughs> the movie stunk. <laughs> Almost as bad as the hotel room they found her rotting body in the Beverly Hills. <laughs> Southwest Airlines is offering 25,000 rewards points to passengers who had canceled flights over the holidays. The bad news is the points are only valid with Spirit Airlines. <laughs> In an effort to improve their image, Spirit Airlines has decided to change their name to Jihad Airlines. When I catch a touchdown this weekend, I'm gonna fall out and the other wide receiver is gonna get out the pantomime paddles and shock me. My girlfriend likes it when I choke her in bed. Just don't tell Chris Beard. Are there are no Texas fans. That's the Texas basketball coach who just choked their fucking wife. Okay, that's my turn. William Montgomery. Well, well, well. Nobody does it quite like that. The old bundle energy coming up. Pyramid scheme. Rode the wave all the way through. 
How do you feel, William? I feel pretty good. I actually have started uh, doing something new this past week. A new year, new me. I've started. My <laughs> girlfriend actually does people's hair. I'm starting to take over her clients. I'm starting to cut hair. That's actually... <laughs> oh. oh. Cut my finger the other day. That's why I have this Band-Aid on. But yeah, I've started cutting hair. I actually cut Sayla's hair. Uh, <laughs> She just had the haircut. I've I've uh, cut Christie's hair. I've what is, what size extensions are those? Sixteen inch extensions, bitch. What the fuck? Imagine. Are you fucking? Don't try to come at me right now, bitch. I'm excited about my new path. I'm thinking I'm gonna take, bitch. He is aggressively calling Holy Kim Congdon a bitch right now. He is. He is he has an anti missile defense system that he's utilizing right here. <laughs> Holy shit. You got her to put the mic down and everything. Oh my goodness. With just pure anger and the energy of a serial killer. But seriously, what are those? Sixteen inch uh, extensions? What uh, what do you have? Uh they're three inches like your dick. Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness. When it, gets, How? when it gets hard, it's about three inches. So you are wow. very Kim correct. Congdon going for where it hurts, the old little red machine down there. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I really love your balayage you have going. I could do a much better balayage on you. Uh, a balayage? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a hair. It, it does color in hair. I'm just saying I could probably do a much better balayage. If you need somebody to do your hair, I've started doing that. Oh. What were you doing? Shitting in the bathroom? What the fuck? I had to pee, first of all. Okay. Second okay. of all, I would never trust you with my balayage, William. Wow. What does that mean? Damn. Why? This is the best shape I've ever seen you in. Mm -hmm. And you still look like Andrew Santino on Hard Times. <laughs> and Andrew, I think I want to dye your hair brown. There could only be one red-headed comedian up here doing this, so maybe a nice brown color. This, it, William's like my after, way after photo. <laughs> It's like two brothers that chose different lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really get that one, bitch. What the fuck uh, does that mean? Seriously, what the fuck does that mean? All the other ones have been funny, but I don't really get that one. What the fuck does that mean? I'm trying to have fun tonight! <laughs> oh, shit. He's trying to have fun tonight. My finger hurts right now! <laughs> No, it's really hurting. I have a couple stitch. What type of haircut were you giving the person when you cut your finger? Just a, a quick fade is what people are calling it. <laughs> quick. I cannot believe that you know the terminology like this, William. This is a brand new thing. I've hung out with you all week, and you didn't mention this to me once, that you've been cutting hair. And you come in here with balayage and all of this stuff. My mind is completely blown. You have a wound on your finger. Yeah, I'm really hurt right now. Seriously. I mean, That's a legit band-aid. What kind of band-aid is that? that a this is a Bucky's brand band-aid. Whoa. Uh, I actually saw him on Christmas morning. He was in one of the Bucky's, dressed up as Santa Claus. He's a really nice guy. He's, uh, yeah, Bucky's actually really nice. So okay. Okay, William. Very, very. I feel like Bucky's his dad. <laughs> All right. Oh shit. Fuck you guys. Oh shit. <laughs> William, William's giving yeah. him a special look right now. He's he's dimmed his eyes a little bit. He's squinting, kind of. Oh, the eyebrows are up. Oh, there's the squint, and then the eyebrows. Whoa, wink. We've seen this before, okay, folks. Stop. The patented wink, everybody. Whoa, there it is. Oh my goodness. He's giving them out. That's the sound that happens when he winks his eye. Whoa, he's giving them. It's been a long while since we've okay, seen this. Okay, stop, Red Band, you fucking <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> and Red Band, get off the testosterone, dude. You have high blood pressure. Up, I don't want you dying. Get off the testosterone. Why would he die? He has high blood pressure. He was acting weird. That's why he's acting weird on Thursday night. How do you we know figured I have it out pressure. because you fucking told me you were blacked out. I knew something was wrong. Yeah. And you're fucking telling me you're a ticking time bomb. Red Band, get off the tee. You're not moving around. 
You're literally, if you were moving around, maybe you should be on it, but you're just fucking, you're not. It is so true. So you have to get off of it, Red Band. It is true. It turns out testosterone injections don't go great with virtual reality. <laughs> <laughs> It's very true. They don't, Red Band. You have to get off. I, I would be devastated if something happened. You have to. <laughs> He's out there working out in the VR world, just fucking... <laughs> it counts. Unbelievable. William hitting Red Band where it hurts, right in the fucking... No, but seriously, get off of it, Red Band. Okay. Red Band you suffering know what? from... I'm going to. High blood Good. pressure. <laughs> 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 William, you're one of the great fucking transition stories we've ever seen on this show. At one point, you were fucking... What was the heaviest that you were? I don't know, 260 maybe? He was a massive, massive, bloated, sweaty, massive beast. I look back at pictures on my phone. They pop up every day for, like, memories from two or three years ago. Yeah, I don't... It was bad. I was about to die, I think, so... Yeah, was that funny, dumbass? (laughs) Holy shit! Somebody get that dumb ass out of here right now. I fucking see your stupid, fucking, nasty-looking ass. God. (laughs) Fucking nasty-looking. That's what I would have assumed. God. Wow. William going for the jugular tonight on some (laughs) innocent tourists just visiting, just passing through town. William, William cut his hair. (laughs) I'd cut something other than his hair. I'd cut his fucking neck. Whoa. William, also known to murder yeah, people kill sometimes. Him, so. oh, I'm a convicted felon right now. I don't give a shit. I got nothing to lose right now, so remember that. All right. Before we put a ribbon on this thing, I'm going to ask you, what are you most passionate about tonight? Starburst candies. Oh, wow. I love those things. You love them? How much do you love them? I love a Starburst. How much do you love them, William? I love the lemon lime Starburst. <laughs> I like the watermelon <laughs> Starburst. Wait a second. Have you been hanging out with black people eating Starburst? Yeah, it's at the barber shop where I've been working. I oh. work at a barber shop. <laughs> it's a black barber shop? Yes. yes. You're the white guy at the black yes. barber shop? Yes. How did you get this job? Craigslist. <laughs> I found it on Craigslist. Wait, Imagine being no the way. black guy to go get your hair cut at a barber shop <laughs> and you walk in and it's him. Huh? <laughs> huh? What? Nothing. God, what? There's <laughs> a what? Holy shit. God. What? <laughs> what? So I, I asked you what you're passionate about. You said Starburst. How many? How much Starburst have you been eating? Mm, bags. Bags. Bags? Bags. Bags. What does bags. it make you feel like when you eat a Starburst? It energizes me. Uh, <laughs> it's a big rush. So. What's your favorite flavor, Starburst? Out of all the flavors? The red one. The red one. Probably strawberry. The pink yeah, one. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Strawberries pink. Matt Mueling only speaks once every six episodes, and he has chosen to pick this moment to go to, to remind you that the straw strawberry starburst is pink. 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 Okay. Thanks, dumbass. What the? F- whoa, whoa. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, with that said, what's your favorite flavor of starburst? The pink one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. How loud can this place get for the great William Montgomery? Huh? Headliner, cameo star, television star, movie star, ladies and gentlemen, the Big Red Machine, the Memphis Strangler, the Banana Dangler, William Lights Out Montgomery. One more time, it's it's him, William Montgomery, everybody. He ain't flying my helicopter. <laughs> How, what, what time did you start drinking today? Early. Very early. <laughs> Very early. 
I'm actually a pilot in the military. You're oh. a pilot? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what branch of the military? I'm a Apache helicopter pilot in the military, yes. Wow. This is one of those good news, bad news situations. A few days ago, a Yeti Airlines jet crashed in Nepal. The bad news is when the first responders got to the crash site a couple days later, they found everyone dead. The good news, the beer was still ice cold. <laughs> Let's give it up for Yeti Coolers Austin. <laughs> I had no idea they had gotten into avionics. They have a very diverse business portfolio. Okay. <laughs> this thing with Biden and all the classified documents is getting really out of hand. Today they found the nuclear launch codes in a bag of Biden's Depends. <laughs> He's old as shit. <laughs> In an effort to be more modern, the Masters Golf Tournament is changing its name from the racially insensitive name, the Masters, to the more inclusive, the Human Traffickers. <laughs> Houston's, we have a problem. That is a fat guy finding out his credit card just uh, got declined at a Houston's restaurant. He's, okay, that's all I got. <laughs> Unbelievable. This guy has done that more than anybody. Always different, always a new minute. Unbelievable that you still have it in you. You are truly the big red machine. How do you feel tonight? I feel good. My leg is really itching. Tony, I got tatted up on Thursday. Whoa. Um, I actually know about this. Yeah, I got a baby Tasmanian devil wearing a cowboy hat because I try to keep it real Texas. Why don't you show us? Let's see it, baby. Show everybody the tattoo. And it's in a, a real gay position, I think. I'm starting to regret where it a is. A lot of people are. No. It's itchy as a motherfucker right now. How, how itchy is it, William? To explain to it's us how itchy, itchy as fuck. Do you? How many tattoos do you have? I have many. Oh, <laughs> I thought maybe you didn't have any or no, something. No, I have. I have a bunch. Oh, cool. Yeah. So here's a trick. <coughs> when it itches, yeah. when it itches, you slap it because you can't you can't scratch it, so you slap it a few times. It makes the itch go away. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's yeah, what I actually tip. do with Red Band's Never mom. Never get a I Tasmanian. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's actually what I do with Red Band's mom when her pussy's oh. itching. I'll just kind of slap it with uh. my hand. <laughs> when I'm that sorry. stanky ass egg be itching, I gotta slap that thing. I'm sorry I talked. I hate to talk over a Red Band's mom's pussy joke. I'm sorry that I talked over that. No, yeah. What were you saying? What were you saying? I was. It doesn't matter. It's, okay, it's okay. like it's like the fucking Mexican joke at the top of the show. It's not gonna be funny anymore. <laughs> Red Band, I'm sorry. I, I said I would never mention your mom again, but I fucking had to. You why, piece of shit. why did you get oh that tattoo God. of all the tattoos? No one cares about these other tattoo no, I'm not saying, like, why did you choose okay. that tattoo? I did a lot of research. It sounded like a lot of white trash types of people got Tasmanian devil tattoos in the 80s. So I thought, why not? I'm going to get a baby Taz that'll change it up just enough. And I'm going to get the cowboy hat added because it'll be just enough Texas. So that's what I did. Okay. What else did you do this week? Tell us more. The tattoo only goes so far. I got my penis pierced. Oh, I've really wow. been going through this really weird time in my life right now. Yeah, it hurts so bad. It's itching so bad right now. Oh, hey, you thought about slapping the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah, on sure. Red Band's mom's pussy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh my so, goodness! Did you did you <laughs> did you pay a visit to the Irony Mall this week? I Fuck. don't get it. God, <laughs> wait, damn it! That was funny, wasn't it? I, I just guy. love that. That I don't get it is going to be in the real of the things that. <laughs> did oh, you go peace. to the Irony Mall? I don't get it, and it's going to move on right to the next thing. Penis. What's ironic? What's ironic? Why would the, it be ta the ironic Taz tattoo, the penis piercing, the Kirkland signature T-shirt? It's all sort of ironic, no? I don't really get what you're getting at. <laughs> Seriously, is that some sort of fucking attack on my fucking ass right now, dude? Wait, how long does a penis piercing take? Uh, it was like two hours. <laughs> the guy couldn't find the hole. I have a really small hole down there. 
Yeah, I don't want to admit that, but yeah, maybe Rebbe and edit that out. But yeah, my thing, my whole, my thing hole's real small, so it took him a while to find it. Oh my! Oh, stick it goodness. out. The big red machine. Yeah. Now the curtains. Sounds like you went to the irony mall this week. <laughs> God, shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up. I've been listening to your bullshit all fucking night, Joe. Oh. So you're not gonna come at me with this shit. I have a fucking tattoo now, dude. I literally have three fucking guns in my trunk right now. <laughs> I'm a felon, dude. I have nothing to lose. <laughs> That's evident. <laughs> All right, sweet. <laughs> Unbelievable energies from the, the man playing on his home court, home field advantage, yeah. William Montgomery. This is what he does. Now, the Kirkland Signature, it's been a while since we've seen this. Are you back being sponsored by them again? Yeah, it's a multi-year. It's a seven-year, $500,000 <laughs> contract. That's incredible. I know. I bought a house yesterday with the <laughs> money. Bought, did they he, already pay you? Yeah, in one lump sum. I took it to, uh, what, what is his name? Western he has the commercials. Union? No, he has the commercials on TV. Thomas J. J.G. Wentworth. Yeah, I went to oh, J.G. Wow. Wentworth. <laughs> the Dallas couple. It was Mickey. Mickey figured it out. Hard to do when she's looking up girls that are following her son on Instagram. <laughs> and she did it. Oh, God. Incredible stuff. So $500,000. Where's the house? What suburb is your $500,000 house in? It's in Plano. Okay. That's yeah, it took me like five <laughs> hours to fucking get here tonight. <laughs> it's a really bad idea. The realtor didn't tell me where Plano was. I assumed it was really close to here. Yeah, it's like this nightmarish commute. <laughs> Holy shit. It sounds close. Even without traffic, it's like four hours or something. It's like, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a five-hour commute. Yeah. What did you do to pass the time during your five-hour commute? Are you listening to anything? Are you watching anything? I've started doing this thing where I can sort of trick my body into falling asleep while I'm driving, but I'm actually... So I'll fall. I'll trick myself into falling asleep for like 30 minutes at a time, so I'm actually getting these really long naps, and it's... Yeah, I tricked my body into... Do you know how to do that, Red Band? You're sleeping all the time. Are you tricking your body? Or, <laughs> yeah. How it's do you real sleep easy. all the it's fucking easy. time? You just sleep, and uh, you put the, uh, you know, the Tesla on. Are you off of testosterone? No, I'm still on. I'm, I'm Get weak. off of it! I'm weak. You're going to have a heart attack. I'm not kidding. Get <laughs> off of it. What did you say to me? You're going to have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> They're going to find... Janice is going to find your I fucking like you rotting think, body somewhere. I like that you think testosterone is what's going to give Red Man a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> His body's like, get in line, testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get, get behind the two vaccinations. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got the Kirkland brand vaccine. It, it, uh, <laughs> it's good. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. It tasted good. It's, it tastes good. really good. It's good. Yeah. His eyeballs fall out of his head right before bed, but it's good. <laughs> I got dull? vaccinated. I got vaccinated, but I don't believe in COVID. And I got vaccinated at the Irony Mall. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. <laughs> Somebody get him out of this place. We're all going to get out of here, my friend. William Montgomery, you are the god of Thank Kill you. Tony. We absolutely adore you. William Montgomery. In Prince Harry's new book, he described Elvis Presley's home Graceland as a dump. Um, Prince Harry, I'm actually from Memphis, so don't be talking shit about Graceland, you ginger piece of shit. <laughs> Ironically, Elvis started his life at the very bottom and worked his way to the very top. And Prince Harry worked his... God damn it! Ah! <laughs> This microphone smells like shit. I don't know whose mouth. <laughs> Ironically, Elvis started his life at the very bottom and worked his way to the very top. And Prince Harry started his life at the very top and worked his way to the very bottom. <laughs> you fucking British piece of shit. <laughs>
Prince Harry literally describes Elvis Presley's house in Memphis as, and I quote, a badger's den. Newsflash, Prince Harry, but badger, badger dens are nice. I actually use the Badger Den, a- Den app every weekend, uh, and I book some Badger Dens. So they're <laughs> <clears throat> they're called a set. Oh, what's that, Prince Harry? You didn't know a Badger's Den is actually called a set? Well, I learned that in Memphis, Tennessee, home of the king of rock and roll, something you'll never be. <laughs> you want the good news or the bad news? Okay, the bad news. The bad news is Prince Harry called Elvis Presley's home in Memphis a dump. The good news, Elvis is still banging his mom in heaven. (laughs) Fucking ginger piece of shit! (laughs) Okay, that's my time. Wow, William Montgomery. Unbelievable performance. All the jokes hit. Even your uh, Even misreads the... went extremely well. <laughs> yeah, my Something mis- about you fucking up a joke, which is so much funnier than anybody else fucking <laughs> up a joke. I uh, know. It gets, it gets horribly nerve-wracking. I was smoking dope back there again tonight. I promised myself I wouldn't, but I was smoking some blunts, and I was laughing so hard. David went so hard after you. <laughs> Holy shit. That was funny. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I can't believe fucking the Duke of Sussex is talking shit about where I'm from. He needs to keep fucking Memphis out of his stupid fucking mouth. I peep I think people are sick of the fucking royals. He needs to stop talking about fucking Memphis. Okay. All right. Really knows how to pick his battles here. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm coming after you, Prince Harry, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm not fucking around. That was the last fucking straw. I've always hated fucking Prince Harry, stupid fucking ass. Wearing his fucking Nazi costumes. He's literally a racist. And he better not catch me in a dark alleyway because I'll fucking kill him. I wish I was kidding. How would you, <laughs> how would you kill Prince Harry if given the chance? Probably a gun. Oh. Yeah, just walk up to him and be like, Oh, Prince Harry, hello, sir! And then I'd fucking shoot him right in the fucking food. Yeah, he talks like such a bitch. It's like I can't even take him seriously. With that stupid fucking ass. You know what I'm talking about? Holy shit. Oh my goodness, you are something else. What a riot. <laughs> what is it about Prince Harry that makes you so mad? It was literally when he, I had so many trials and tribulations back in Memphis. When he fucking brought that up, I literally had so much rage just boil up inside of me. I mean, the fucking Duke of fucking Essex is talking. Duke of Sussex, I think he's from. <laughs> okay. All right, William, what else has been going on in your world? Any new hobbies or anything? You're always up to something. We've seen you eat soup. We've seen you get sponsorships. We've seen you eat raisin bread. There's so many different things that's always going on in your personal life. I'm excited to find out what's happening this week. It is my birthday this week. Oh. Um, so I've already, I've already been at the TCBY Treats. I've already been fucking designing an ice cream cake for my birthday. So really excited about that. I was at TCBY three hours earlier. <laughs> but yeah, excited about designing the cake. I'm really excited. We'll be in Denver together. I'm really excited about whatever present you're going to get me. I've been dreaming about it. I'm just wondering what Tony's going to get me for my birthday when we're in Denver. Ah, have you ever had 80 popsicles at once? <laughs> <laughs> I actually have not. (laughs) I know a guy. And if you like dirty jokes, you're in for a treat. I love it. What else? There must be something. Yeah, that guy was kind of strange. Are you still cutting hair? He seemed nice, but. Are you still cutting hair? We found out. Yes, I actually booked 15 clients last week. My place is literally filled with fucking hair. It looks like I have a carpet. I normally have hardwood floors, but there's hair everywhere. I don't really know what to do with it, I don't have a broom. So my fucking, it literally is like a carpet. (laughs) Oh my goodness. It's literally like a carpet in there. But yeah, I have a bunch of clients. I'm getting new ones. Uh, So yeah, if you need a haircut, just let me know and I'll be able to help you out. 
D Madness will not let you cut his hair. If you were if you were going to cut D Madness's hair, which literally is a work of art. I mean, it is beautiful. This guy somehow, some way, has the best style and swag out of anybody every night. On there's the no Tony. There's no way I would ever cut the hair of a fucking blind person. Holy shit! Wait, what? 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 Why, why do you say it? Because he you... might complain afterwards, but I would know in my heart that he really doesn't know what it looks like because he's blind. <laughs> but I have a horrible, I have a horrible just thought. He would bitch about it, and it would end up turning into a big fucking thing. And I just start coming over to his house with my gun in my hand, just standing in front of the kitchen, fucking. Oh, he's standing up, just in his kitchen. He doesn't know oh. I'm there. Hey, no, no, no. Huh? Yeah, D madness. That is, he has called it Black Spaghetti. <laughs> black, winning. black Spaghetti. Old Black Spaghetti. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just picturing that being the color of the spaghetti he actually eats because he probably burns it all because he can't oh, see. Oh, my God. William. William. First it's all brown spaghetti. <laughs> first of all, you boil spaghetti. <laughs> What are you, out there pan-frying spaghetti, William? <laughs> yeah, it's been a new thing I've been doing. Literally, I'm, I'm going to make you some. You got fucking... You and D-Madness are fucking... Oh, my Yeah, God. well, I wouldn't trust your fucking ass either, so... <laughs> I'm glad it's finally coming out after this amount of time, us being on the... F huh? Okay, oh well, I would never God. cut your fucking oh hair! my Goodness. Don't worry, I would never cut your fucking ear. Oh <laughs> my god. god. This, Sounds like, <laughs> this is one of the wildest fake arguments I've ever seen yeah. in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> they should go for spaghetti together and make up. What? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> they should go for spaghetti and make up, he said. Yeah, I fucking heard you. Oh ass. my god. <laughs> yeah, I fucking heard you. What dumbass. is up with my regulars attacking the guests lately? <laughs> so angry. Yeah, I love seeing David come after your no, fucking you ass. You stop it. You I fucking loved it. I'm gonna kill Prince Harry. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. There's no better way to end an episode. We do it the same way every <laughs> week. William Montgomery. <laughs>